Hey Amanda, just Dave here. So just taking a look at the issue that you've got with your U-carve. So we're going to assume that the photo that you took of your carving is from this position, which is the front of the machine here. So you're egging out this way and you're egging out this way from the front. So it looks to me like the issue is with your x-axis which is this axis that runs across here. Now there's a relatively easy fix for this. There's a couple of things to check. And the first thing is, we're gonna check whether or not your belt tension is correct. So the easiest way to do this is to power off your controller and then slowly, without too, too much speed, push your actual gantry by hand all the way over to one side. Give yourself pretty much to the edge. You don't have to force it up against that switch. And what you want to do is you want to put your finger down in here there's a little belt and you can see there's a tensioner here and then a belt here you're going to put your finger down onto this belt in the channel and let it up quickly and what it should do is it should just pop straight back up and be straight if it wobbles when you quickly let your finger up it means your belt tension is a little bit loose so the solution to fixing that problem is you'll notice on the right hand side of your machine our belt tensioner is here all the way to the very end there's no gap on here so what you want to do is you want to carefully drag this say back to the middle to expose this side over here and what we need to do is we, you'll notice on this side, we have a little bit of a gap in here where this tensioner is. And this has been done intentionally to give you the ability to set your tension. So you wanna get a three mil Allen key into this hole here, into this bolt. And then you want to loosen that off and tighten this up, which will actually pull the belt in and apply more tension onto your belt. Once you've got enough tension there, recheck, do the finger test again. Move this to the other side if you want, so you can test while you're going. All right, let's put your finger on there, do the test again. If it just goes straight back up and doesn't wobble, then you know that it's good. Once you've done that, make sure to lock this bolt back in again, so tighten that back up, and then that will hold your tension for you. Now, what I think your real issue may be, considering how deviated your circles are, we're gonna have a look here on this machine. So behind here, where this belt runs, there's this pulley just here. And this pulley can have these two grub screws. Well, it has these two grub screws on there. And I suspect that both of these grub screws are a little bit loose. So what I would suggest you do is go and get a two mil Allen key or 2.5 and put it in that hole and just tighten those up. So you'll notice there's one there. And if I carefully move the gantry, you can see there's there's the other one there. So just make sure you do up both of those grub screws that are in there. And then I suspect that's what your issue is. This pulley's loose. Now just make sure, and I'm gonna to try to get in here. Just make sure that you have a gap on this side of the belt, just here, you can see a gap. And if you look closely, we've got another little gap on this side. So the belt's not rubbing on the sides. So just while these are loose here, if you loosen these grub screws off, this pulley will push in and out. Just make sure it's right in the center there. And then make sure you fully secure it and tighten it up. Now, the only tip I'll give you is make sure that you definitely use the flat part of an Allen key and don't use the ball part, or you can strip out those grub screws. Now, the next real important thing to check is your wheel tension. More than likely, your wheel tension will be okay. Um, but basically, you've got these wheels on the top here. What you can do is you can adjust them and loosen them. Underneath here, I would do this last as an option, but underneath here, you've got these things. They look like a little socket, and you'll notice there's a notch. Now, if you get a 10 mil spanner on these, you can actually turn these, and they will put more or less pressure on this extrusion here. And so, because they have an off-centered little hole in there, and that's how we do the tension of these wheels on here. And you'll notice there's one on this side, and there's also one on this side over here too. And so all you really need to do is basically turn those where the notch is, is the most open part of that eccentric spacer. So if this was facing all the way down this little notch, you can see the notch there on the side, that would mean that this is in the most open position. Now from our factory, we usually send these out pre-tuned and they're ready to go. So it's unlikely that this will be the issue, but it potentially could be. So you can check this one last, but I suspect your main issue is going to be this pulley's just loose up here. 
and just needs to be tightened. I hope this helps.